Hello friends selection of foundation type for a given structure depends on so many factors like total load coming on the structure types of soil water table level adjoining structures etc among these factors types of soil play significant role in this video we will discuss about it the strength and stability of the soil depends on its physical properties there are different types of soils such as clay soil peat soil silty soil gravel sandy soil loam soil mountain soil and rock soil let us discuss about clay soil clay has a great water retention property when clay is exposed to moisture it expands and shrinks significantly when it is dry as a result foundation structure can suffer from great settlement and uplift pressure that's why clay soil is not desirable raft or mat foundation is the best foundation type to be built on clay soil if raft foundation is costly loads from the superstructure are high or strong soil layer is not available at shallow depth then under reamed pile foundation should be selected in case of clay soil pier beam foundation can also be used you can see in this picture beams are connected to each other and piers are going inside the ground there is some space between beam and crown which is called as a crawl space if trees hedges and shrubs are close to foundation location or there is a plan to plant these trees near the structure in the future then pile foundation carrying in situ concrete slab can be used in short for clay soil wide strip foundation raft foundation and pile foundation can be used peat soil peat soil is considerably porous easily compressible and dark brown or black color soil which is commonly present near wetlands it undergoes expansion and shrinkage due to moisture fluctuation extremely weak in terms of load carrying capacity so in some cases when the peat layer is at shallow depth it can be removed up to strong strata and replaced with engineered fills to build over a stronger soil and strip foundation can be used here if the thickness of peat soil is great and its removal is not economical then pile foundation should be selected for small projects pad and beam foundation can be used and depth shall be extended to a firm strata below if firm strata is not available at reasonable depth but there is a hard surface crust with 3 to 4 meter thickness of suitable bearing capacity then raft foundation can be used here silty soil can be smooth to touch and retains water longer because of its smaller particles it is generally not suitable for foundation structure because of its expansion which exert pressure against foundation and damage it the silt retain moisture and does not drain water easily if firm silt or firm silty clay deposit extending to a great depth is available then rcc spread and isolated pad footings are appropriate In case of dry compact gravel, spread and strip foundations can be used. If gravel is submerged in water, the bearing capacity is declined by half. A shallow RCC wide strip foundation can be used here. Sand soil. When sand is damp, compacted and uniform, it holds together reasonably well. But trenches may collapse. and so sheet piling is often used to retain the ground in trenches until the concrete is poured if loose sand is extended for great depth then it is recommended to compact it and use spread footing alternatively raft driven pile or augered pile can be selected without the use of compaction energy in desert soils multi storied buildings usually have a pile foundations especially driven piles or augered cast in situ piles loam is a combination of clay silt and sand it is dark in color soft 
dry and crumbly to touch. Loam is the best option to support foundation because of its uniformly balanced characteristics. It maintains water at a balanced rate and hence neither shrink nor expand to an extent that damage foundations. Isolated footing is the most desired type of foundation for loam soil. Mountain soils and forest soils are most likely to have a boulders at various depths, so pile foundations are not suitable here. For residential buildings with one or two floors, isolated RCC pad footings are suitable. No residential buildings should be constructed on slopes steeper than 25 degrees. Rock soil. It involves bedrock, sandstone, shale, hard chalk, and limestone. Rock soil has excellent stability, high bearing capacity, and great resistance to water damage. As long as the rock is leveled and the foundation is well supported, the most suitable foundations for rock soil are strip foundation, pad foundation, and raft foundation. Please note in case of strip foundation, base of the foundation shall be kept above groundwater table. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.